Good morning. Good morning. I can honestly tell you that it is wonderful to be here because when we were coming home last night, I wasn't sure we were going to be here with you. Uh, we missed a moose by about that much. And, um, well, maybe they missed us. I'm not really sure. And I, God steered us. Uh, uh, but yeah, it was, uh, it was him. He was in the midst of it all. So um, I just praise him for that. Had a good conference. Um, nothing earth-shattering took place, so there's not a whole lot to really talk about in terms of what went on at the conference. Um, and um, if anybody wants to know, I will um, be able to share with them, you know, some of the things that went on. But um, like I said, it wasn't anything. We we because of COVID, we basically just took care of business and and um, and uh, moved on from there. But. Uh, God is good. He's still on his throne. He's in control. And we're in his place today to worship him. So let's, uh, uh, let's do that. We're going to do that in just a few moments. I want to, I want to touch base on a couple of, uh, couple of announcements this morning. Uh, if you have your bulletins, first of all, for those of you who have been getting the digital bulletin, maybe I should have Cheryl explain a little bit about the changes that are going to have to take place over the next couple, three weeks. When I went to post the bulletin on Facebook last night, there's a nice little message. As of October 31st, I will not be able to use the note system that Facebook has. So I cannot post two pictures in one post without it being horrible. I mean, they're like little things. And you can click and blow them up, but I mean, it's lousy. So thanks, Facebook. However, we did find out that what I can do is just keep it on YouTube. And I can have a link to where you can have the whole thing. You can print it, you can save it, whatever you want. So that's what I started last night. I'm not even going to wait till October 31st. I, I'm not going on Facebook or anything. I'm just not going to do it. So, and I'm going to try to remember to post a link there for the people that are on Facebook. But YouTube has the whole music and everything anyway. So if the link is right there, it'll be easy. But um, you'll also notice when we get going through the service, there's another change in the bulletin, and that's just simple facts. The scripture is going to be different, and the title of the sermon is going to be different. He'll tell you why on that one. But um, if you want the real one, it's, it's there on the link on YouTube. <laughs> so for those, in case they didn't hear it, um, there'll be a different link you, you, when you go to YouTube to to get your um, video. That's where you'll find the bulletin going forward. Uh, in, including this week, beginning beginning this morning, this afternoon, whenever you're you're doing that. So, um, on uh, Tuesday, the twentieth of October at six p.m. I in the bulletin it reads as a as a board meeting. Somebody asked me last week if it was supposed to be a board meeting or a quarterly business meeting. Technically, it is a quarterly business meeting. Um, <laughs> And so if we get 12, that's what we'll have. If we have under 12, then we'll have a board meeting, but it'll, it'll amount to the same thing. And, and the significance of this is that our October meeting is where we put together the nominating committee. And so um, please be praying about that and be thinking about that in advance as, as we're uh, getting ready to, uh, to uh, take care of the, that part of the business for, for our church going forward. Uh, the rest of it, I think, is pretty self-evident as you're going through there. You'll, you'll notice now, under the sharing part in Operation Christmas Child, there is a due date if you're going to uh, take shoeboxes and make them up and, and, and do them for the, the young people that get sent out and mailed out. They're, we need to have them back by November 15th, the week of the, of the 16th. Uh, is when they'll, they'll be receiving them all. And so we have to have them on the 15th in order to get them there. And I'm, uh, I won't know for another week or two, uh, according to the website, as to the exact place and times and all of that, that we're going to be able to take the stuff over there. And once I find that out, I'll put that in, a, in the bulletin as well. If it's something where... I can go take it over. I would love to do that, but if it if it doesn't fit in my schedule, hopefully one of you will be able to step up and, and be willing to do that. And so, like I said, once we know what it is, it'll be a little easier to, to, to talk about that. Um, and I think pretty much the rest of it, like I said, 
you guys, I know you can read and I know you. The gift boxes aren't out there for Christmas in October yet. Are they flat? They're not out there yet. They're not out there. No, no, for Christmas in October. Oh. For missions for Christmas. Yes. They're not out there. It will Thank be. you. Um, <laughs> we'll go get those after the service. But yeah, the gift boxes for Christmas in October. I know it seems like all of these mission things seems to all almost always come together at one time. Um, but we'll have those out there after the service. We'll go down and make sure that those are there um, for, for any who are donating and giving. And, and again, just a reminder why we have Christmas in October is because, um, although I wonder if eventually they're going to change that because of the electronic nature now of banking. But the reason it was initially in, um, installed was our missionaries around the globe, uh, it took a while to send them money and to send them gifts and to send them things. And so, um, and COVID's kind of slowed everything down again, as we know. So um, maybe this year it, it really is um, a relevant thing, but, but the reality is, is that we've always collected, in my adult life, we've always collected for, um, for our missionaries uh, just to help them out. I know a lot of our missionaries, they will use that to, to um, bless the churches and the families and, and uh, the different uh, uh, ministries that they have going on if they don't personally need it, but a lot of them personally can use it too. So just be in prayer about how God would have you uh, do all of those parts. Uh, is there any other announcements, any questions that anybody has? Sounds nice and quiet. So... I will move on to our call to worship, which comes from Revelation 22, verses 12 and 13. And this is from the New Living Translation. Look, I'm coming soon, bringing my reward with me to repay all people according to their deeds. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Let's bow and let's... Uh, Ask the Lord to bless us and guide us this morning. Father God, we uh, humbly come into your presence this morning and we ask that you guide us through our time together. Lord, every Sunday when we gather together, it's a special time. But Father, once a month, it's especially special as we, uh, we remember and we're reminded and, and we think about Jesus and the price that that he took the pain and the agony and, and all of the things that he endured for each of us, that we might have eternal life in you. And Father, you instituted uh, communion for us that we might remember, that we might uh, bring it to the front of our thinking on a regular basis. And Lord, we praise you for that. We ask that this be a special time as we gather around that communion table today. Father, we know your spirit is in this place and we call upon him to do a, a miraculous and a wonderful thing in our hearts and in our lives as we worship you this morning. And we pray these things in Christ's name. Amen. So that will...